what you doing, don't stop. What you doing, don't stop. Girl, what you doing, got me thinking about guys. Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Janice now, and this is your boy Lo. Chanel's corner. Alrighty, guys. So we have two loads today um, that we're gonna be picking up. One is to Maryland, and one is to West Virginia. It was actually only like 15 minutes from where we parked our um, box truck, so it was perfect. So we're gonna head there. It is two pallets, two pallets going to Maryland, and I believe they are paying $7.50. All together, almost two dollars a mile. So this is a decent one. Uh, we were really trying to get out of North Carolina, like so bucks. yeah. All together, it's a fifteen hundred dollar load, and um, it's to get us out of this area. It's just for one day because we'll be empty tomorrow, so we'll be able to. Um, well, if we're able to get if off, we're able to get off yeah because that's the only thing with this final load is the drop off is until 10 o'clock tomorrow but then you can also drop it off on the 11th but it depends on if they can fit you in because it's an appointment type of thing so it's going to be an experience we're going to see but regardless um yeah so and then i think about 650 700 ish for the second one that's going to virginia hey, what are we, how much are we picking up on this right now two pallets two pallets yeah um so yeah then we're gonna head to two uh, about an hour away to go pick up um our second load going to west virginia then we're gonna head to west virginia and then we're gonna head to maryland so follow us on this little experience this is our first time going otr um we're trying to just stay on the road so uh exciting we've been really lucky with amazon um i think amazon kind of spoiled us because that is where we started and we were getting really good loads with amazon um but it's time for us to go on the road now so um great start with amazon i definitely not everybody's gonna be different but for as far as how we started we started on amazon and it was a great way for us to start so it might be a great way for you too everybody's journey is different though um We just finished that pickup that was super easy super seamless we got our bol um so now i've already started our motive app that is how we control our eld basically telling how many hours we can drive as well as basically like tracking our location so, um when you start the eld when you're driving without anything on your truck it's just under driving so now once we leave this location i'm gonna start our eld as far as on duty um so it's gonna be on duty until we drop this um however once we stop and we break and we're not driving anymore that will be able to count as off duty um so yeah if you're doing local depending on how long you're driving you technically don't need an eld um obviously we're going on over the road so we're going to need an eld but when you're driving locally you technically don't need an eld but sometimes it's still good to measure how much you're driving so that you're not driving tired you're not doing too many hours you're not overworking yourself things like that um i recommend go motive because so far i really like it um so yeah but, but yeah so that's what we're doing um so yeah i'll keep you guys updated look at my thumb it's just a mess look at my man. but yeah this was easy we um so the the two loads that we have are not driver assist so we don't have to do nathan they literally put it in there for us obviously we went and watched them put it in so we can make sure everything goes good but yeah it was really quick i signed the bol for them they gave me a copy um so yeah we're all set
people that look like me. So this is gonna be an experience. It will be dark when we get there. Um, we are dropping off at a hotel. Um, so I'm thinking we should be good. Alrighty guys, so we're currently in Virginia. Um, this was our first stop. We went and got gas and we got some a bite to eat. Um, Cause I looked at the GPS and I realized in West Virginia, the gas stations are scarce. So I don't want to be stuck in, in Bumblebee on the side of the road in West Virginia. So we stopped and got gas, filled up. We'll make it to our destination. And then from there, we'll chill for the night, and then we will um, head to Maryland. So, on the road again. Alright guys, welcome back. We are at a hotel. Just when we thought we were gonna be sleeping in the truck tonight, <laughs> we got a hotel room. Um, yeah, this place was pet friendly too, which is great. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I'm about to go to bed. I'm about to get tired. It's been a long day. We've been in the truck for like seven hours. We have a drop off at eight in the morning, but it's only 20 minutes from here. So we'll probably get up at like six over there, drop it off. And our last drop off is not until 10 o'clock at night. We can't drop off until 10 or until after 10. So we got a lot we could do in between. So um, it would be nice if we could find a load going from here to Maryland that we could drop off same day before our next load. So we'll see what happens. But I'll see you guys in the morning. About to get some sleep. I'm so glad we got in the hotel because I can take a shower. what we see literally you gotta literally at like since we're in a box truck you gotta drive with your hazards on yeah i don't know y'all i don't like it too much oh it's sunny in charlotte i don't know about this look at this y'all it's snowing somebody just left they semi right there they said don't that Y'all don't see me 
on the video a lot because your boy not a cameraman, you feel me? I'm trying to be more active, you feel me? Active and track. You hit me back of that black jewel. That's why he not on camera, y'all. Um, yeah, but we're about to head to Pittsburgh. Um, at this point, we're just sightseeing. <laughs> at this point, we're just on a journey. Part of the game, too, though. Everything ain't gonna be sweet in anything yeah. you do. And that's one thing that I'm learning. Poker, on the road, it don't matter what it is. Nothing sweet. So, I mean, you gotta take the good with the bad with everything. So, right now, it's kind of been bad for us our, our first three, four months. Trump been fucked up, money been fucked up, <laughs> always something wrong with the truck, then you get on the road, and, uh, it's the and everything is going good right now. Amazon. Kicked off from Amazon because you rejected the We didn't get kicked off. Okay, let me tell y'all something, and this is, this learn, is learn from us, okay? So we were, when we first started, we were doing Amazon, and Amazon was going smoothly, and we still have access to Amazon. People want the truth. Nigga. No, that's not fully the truth, because Amazon, we still have access to Amazon. The issue is, if you reject any loads from Amazon for hurt any reason, it will it will hurt your score even so you bad. Even if you accidentally book a load. Yeah, even if you overbook. Rejection. Yeah. Anytime you reject any load, if it is at the driver's, if it is at the driver's fault, you're gonna get penalized for like it. When we booked it low that first time, it was for a P3 footer, but we didn't know how to work the app. Yeah. That was still considered a rejection. Yeah. So it hurt our score. It hurt our score. So, and that was like the first time. Think of the bio, we didn't get the mentorship. We taught, <laughs> we taught you. Child. It's going up. Today's okay. price is not tomorrow's. Yeah, but listen. So, recently, we had two rejections. One was because we had overbooked. Actually, no, it's three, I'm sorry. One was because we overbooked. One was because of maintenance. We couldn't really do anything about that. And then the third one was because we were asleep. It's, it's, it's four rejections here, yeah, told No, but that fourth one, that I'm trying to tell you, it does. it's not it, It's not showing. You know what, y'all, one thing you can't, okay. That's all you that, can say is okay. Period. Like I was saying, let me show y'all what, what our score looks like right now in performance. And mind y'all, we're A1, okay? We got 100 in everything. But let me show y'all what we got zero a F in. Doing the same miles with the same price going 80 miles. I projected that would be 80 miles. F. And the F is only because of our acceptance score. This is a big part of your score. It's sad. It really is. We got a hundreds down the line. But if you if that acceptance, what does that say right there, y'all? Two rejected loads. I don't know what he be talking about. That's because the other ones fell off. That's what I said. Thank you.